Looney Tunes Back in Action is the first movie to feature prominently Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck since 1996's Space Jam and would be the final to do so until Space Jam A New Legacy in 2021, probably because it sucks. Bon Joke Vlog So this is directed by Joe Dante, who is not the first choice I would have gone to, seeing as how he made Gremlins 2 a complete self-referential farce. He takes the Looney Tunes off the deep end in a similar manner, and I just absolutely hate movies about the movie business. So we have wannabe stuntman Brendan Fraser. Actually, is it Fraser? I think he says Brendan Fraser. Well, he's kicked off the Warner Brothers lot where he also pulls double duty as a security guard, failing to actually capture the recently fired Daffy Duck who is costing the studio money. And this is getting really bizarre because they're on the nose with so many classic movie references rather than throwbacks to Looney Tunes cartoons. The villain of the picture is Steve Martin, who is kind of acting like uh, the, the kind of slow guy he played in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. He's the chairman of Acme. Uh, perhaps he inherited the spot, did some related way to Who Framed Roger Rabbit, remember because they offed the guy there. And he's seeking some ancient monkey statue symbol that turns everybody into monkeys so they can build his stuff. And, and he would sell the stuff to Who? I don't, this is dumb. So our problem really is that the stakes seem to be a joke. The characters are a joke. We've brought the Looney Tunes into the real world, but the real world is behaving much more like the Looney Tunes. Like at one point they just say, oh look, there's a Walmart in the middle of the desert. Great place for product placement. Placement. And our co-star here, Jen Elfman. I mean, we really picked up a lot of people who were on the cusp of losing their relevance. You can kind of see Brendan Fraser uh, getting a little tubbier, losing a little bit of that hair. Jenna Elfman was always unsufferable on Dharma and Greg, really the only thing she's known for. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Having Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny along for the ride as co-stars, prominent roles for them might have been a detriment to this. Who Framed Roger Rabbit works better as we have original characters built for that story, and now we just have Bugs and Daffy outside what they should be doing best. Oh yeah, I should totally mention that Timothy Dalton and Heather Locklear are here for reasons. Paycheck reasons. Again, we didn't really get the brightest stars at their brightest. Uh, Timothy Dalton is a secret agent spy who is also, I guess, an actor and Brendan Fraser's dad. Kidnapped because he couldn't capture the monkey and eventually, of course, they rescue him. Bugs and Daffy stop the plot to turn everybody into monkeys with the space platform laser thing. Look, it gets just dumber by the second and I was totally checking out of this movie i give looney tunes back in action one and a half out of four stars if you appreciate a youtube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the eight minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks then you should subscribe to my son's channel you just got done watching it